hey guys what's up so today i will talk about agile process which we follow in the company and how it will uh, mostly i will talk from the perspective of of testing right and even i will talk about how it differs and what are the phases we have in the agile process right so when we talk about the agile process i will not say this as a model i will always say agile is a process why i say agile is a process because it's a certain rule and regulations which company they follow it and which can change company to company there is no hard and fast rule that we need to stick with a certain process right basically you can say that it is a standard practice which is performed by the company based on their product development cycle and based on their release cycle right so let's say if uh, one company a which follows certain set of agile process may not be similar with the company b which follows certain set of agile process unlike what we had in the waterfall and a v and v model and a spiral model we have certain set which which every company used to follow it so that's where you know there was the problem and you know every product will not fit into waterfall and v and v and a spiral model to overcome that we industry came together to a process called agile process and this agile process you can adopt based on your requirement based on your product which you want to develop now in this agile process what happens is any feature development right any story point basically we divide into pieces so let's say uh, if i have to give an example let's say you are working on the payment page of e-commerce site right now the payment module it's a big module so what you will do under the payment module you will design a sub task like one person will work on credit card one person will work on net banking other persons will work on debit card other persons will work on the integration with different banks and some other developers will work on let's say uh, cod right so this we divide into number of tasks now once this has been divided into the number of tasks what we do is we assign this task to the either development team or testing team depends on the company how they want to do that now the question comes how do we de decide the task and how do we decide the feature right this is completely depends on the market like what market needs now for the product maybe some feature which is uh, uh, very important but still sometimes we do we actually we decide to design that and in the mid we decide that no we will not go ahead with the feature we will go ahead with some other feature which is required most as per the market right so the agile process completely driven by the market plus also it depends on the what has more importance right rather than just designing a, a module to the applications now how do we decide a team and what is the team structure in the agile process so usually in agile process there will be a small small team okay there will be a uh, uh, I will say it's if five members, six members teams. Again, this will change company to company. There may be ten members also. So usually, one team will have a scrum master, and developers and testers, right? So the scrum master role is to make sure that whether agile process, whatever we are planned to do that, whether we are following the rules or not, whether whatever the feature and the story which was divided among the developers and among the testers whether the deliverable is getting released on time or not right that is the role of a scrum master so the name itself says that a scrum master right and he will also drive your sprints i will talk about the sprints what does mean by sprint i'll go one by one so usually a scrum master role is to make sure that everybody should have the task should have the activity and everybody should finish the deadline right so generally in agile process what i see uh, in maximum company they follow uh, a four cycle when i say four cycle which means uh, there will be uh, feature freeze one ff1 ff2 ff3 and cf right code freeze so when we say ff1 feature freeze one ff2 feature freeze two cf code freeze ff3 feature freeze three and cf code freeze and then release uh, the feature to the market now what happens is let's say in feature freeze one we have 10 story points which means we have one big uh, 
uh, feature it has 10 story points or you, you let's say to be more precise you have 10 things to develop now the 10 task will be divided among the teams right and everybody will start working on that development team will start with the coding at the same time uh, the testing individual he will work on the how he will test he will work on the test strategy he will work on the test cases he will work on the automation strategy so what happens within generally any feature freeze will be for two weeks a standard practice usually it can be one week also depends on the how many feature you want to design and you want to release to the market so let's say you have a feature free cycle one for two weeks in the two weeks what happens developer will start with the coding and the moment one feature will get designed it will deliver to the quality team now the quality team role is to make sure that first the feature should be functionally fine so let's say once the feature is functionally fine at the same time quality engineer has to design the automation test test script or web service test test scripts or performance test test scripts this depends on the feature like what is the feature requirement so there are some features we cannot do performance there are some features it requires only uh, web service automations or service automations there are some features which requires only ui automations so work will go in the parallel now the moment this two week two week cycle will finish what happens is again the team will meet together and they will retrospect Ret they will retrospect about what are the feature which we planned and what are the feature we have finished right so we will go one by one and we will see that whether whatever we have targeted we have achieved or not now let's say some feature which was planned but it has not been designed it or maybe it has been designed it has not been tested so that feature is going to be backlog item for the next sprint cycle so in the next sprint cycle again what we will do the backlog item we will put to the second uh, sprint and in fact in the second sprint uh, we will add some more feature we will add uh, some more story points and again we'll start working on working on it so again in the second sprint what happens again the feature development will happen quality team will make sure that the feature should work fine as per the requirement and quality engineer will write the automation test script service uh, automations and performance if requires now in ff3 feature free is third again if there is any backlog item from the feature uh, freeze 2 we uh, will take that backlog item and uh, we will place it into the third um, sprint right so again in the third sprint we will plan for some more story points we will plan for some more features to the application and as well as the backlog items right now once this three uh, sprint is over then we will have a cf a code freeze so what does it mean by code freeze the code freeze is a cycle where we will, we will not do any development no development only what we will make sure that whatever code we have designed in that those three sprints ff1 ff2 ff3 is working fine or not or i would say moreover we will perform a regression test so in a regression test what happens is we will make sure that whatever design we have done it is not breaking as well as whatever we have the existing design that also should not break right and usually in code freeze in cf time we do only automation regressions we usually don't do functional testing why because in every release we are writing the script in ff1 we have wrote the script automation script in ff2 we wrote the automation script in ff3 we wrote the automation script now in the cf we will execute entire automation script whatever we have written right to make sure that nothing is breaking as well as we will run the existing automation suit also to make sure that all features are intact then if all are fine the release will go to the productions right so it will be released to the market now maybe you'll be wondering how we do automations in a sprint cycle right so usually in a sprint cycle earlier the process was different earlier once the feature is very very stable then only you will do automations nowadays trend had been changed now what happens in the same sprint you need to do functional testing as well as automations so the moment you will get a feature okay so generally what happens whenever we plan for any story uh, any feature which we are going to add uh, at the same time when developers are writing the development code at the same time what happens is the quality engineer uh, he will be working on the automations prototype so when i said dummy code or maybe you can say that automations dummy code which means his all method method will be ready uh, his script will be ready the moment he will get the feature delivered from the development team what he will do he will change the locators as well as 
he will just modify the script little bit and he will execute the script in case of service automation it is entirely different so once you get us the moment you get a service delivered from the development team to kiwi team uh, same time you can just automate the service and you can test the service right so usually ui automations is uh, i will say a bit challenging compared to service automations service automations is quite easy what i feel because uh, uh, the automation seems easy in the service the ui it takes more time because you need to find the locators uh, and sometimes so when there is any failure you need to debug more but in the service either it will pass or it will fail okay there is no chance of uh, like though it is failing but it's not actual failure no in service like uh, you will get a result very fast so what happens let's say if you have a cycle of two weeks in the two weeks let's say uh, first week uh, you got some feature you tested you automated again second week you got some feature you tested and auto Method. that's how you do automations in every sprint you repeat the same process first you test right first you do first you have to do functional testing to make sure that functionality is working or not once functionality is working same time you have to automate also and you have to repeat in the all three cycles and cf as i said you will not do any functional testing you have to do only automation testing that's how we can release the product to the market otherwise if you start doing functional testing we cannot release the product to the market and this concept of agile process will not work at all right now let's say during cf code freeze you got some bug right so when you get any bug you need to report bug then developer team development team has to fix the bug and then again you will get a uh, released version to you again you have to run the regression script right but again during this process we have to make sure that let's say you have a cf code freeze for one week right and already three days over you got a bug now you report it back and he has fixed it now let's say you assume that you don't have time so in one day you cannot do regressions right so the last minus change it's up to you how you take a call whether you can go back to your product manager or scrum master you can say that hey boss I am not confident in that we cannot release to the market because we, we are seeing potential risk if you release to the market maybe uh, there will be some bug in the applications and we cannot give the guarantee right so we have every right to say that okay we cannot do that it's not like we have to do that so the moment we say we cannot do that the particular feature they will disable okay that's, that's what the agile process is every feature is a flag vest they can enable they can disable it's not like hard coded data or it's not like the code which they cannot it's all are flag based either they can turn on the feature or turn off the feature so sometimes it happens like let's say we got bug on very last day and we cannot perform again the regression then in that case we will go back to the development team and we will say that we cannot do that and we need to disable the feature so we do disable the feature again what we do in the ne next release we will take that feature or some company what they do is they will release so whatever product is working they will release whatever feature is working they will release and whatever we have disabled what they will do they will take some time okay uh kiwi team will do entire automations and uh, they will make sure that the bug should not exist and then what they will do they will release in between so in between two releases uh we we call it as a slip stream or we call it as a, a package so they will release as a patch right so this happens let's say some critical feature which need to go to the market and there is uh, due to some certain issue it cannot be released so what happens we can send that, that release as a patch right so generally patching happens patching is not a big deal we release a patch right so that's how agile process works and that's how we do automations in the agile process there is no extra time for the automations in the agile process you have to do in the same time so i hope that a lot of people doubt will get cleared and you'll get some idea of how agile process works works and how we do automations in the agile pro process right so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video so you like this video and subscribe my channel and uh, i believe that lot of you know my channel name so thank you guys thank you once again